Hi, I'm Nancy with Redleaf DigiScrapping. Thanks for joining me. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create custom background paper by blending photographs with digital scrapbook paper. The tutorial is being done in Photoshop Element 6, but the same steps can be followed in any version of Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. So I have two files open on my screen. One is the photograph and the other is the scrapbook paper that I'm going to blend the photograph with to create my custom background paper. So the first step is to copy the photograph over onto the scrapbook paper. So to do that, in the toolbox you want to select the Move tool and then come down to the photograph, click the mouse button and hold it down and then just drag the photo over on top of the scrapbook paper and release the mouse button and you'll see the photograph come into place. Now I'm going to go back to this photograph file and just minimize it. We don't need that on the screen anymore. And I'm going to enlarge this window so it's a bit easier to see what I'm doing. So now my photo is fairly large. I'm going to just reduce the size of it a little bit because it's quite a bit bigger than my paper. And I'm going to slide it around just change the position a little bit and that looks pretty good right about there. Now the next step is to change what we call the blend mode over in the layers palette and what the blend modes do is allows you to adjust how one layer interacts with the layer underneath it. So I'm going to show you a few of these just to give you the idea of what it does. So you can see when I select a different blend mode, the darken blend mode, now all of a sudden some things are happening. The paper is actually showing through the photograph. And the photograph will interact with the paper underneath in different ways depending on the blend mode that you choose. And I'm just clicking through a few of them here to give you a rough idea. So you can see that some are going to work better than others just depending on the look that you're going for on your background paper. So the blend mode that I'm going to choose for mine is Multiply and you can see if I zoom in I'm starting to get a real nice texture coming through and it's showing right through the photograph. Now I don't want my photograph to be quite as vivid. I want it to blend in a little bit more with the paper. So what I'm going to do is over here in the Opacity box I'm just going to reduce the opacity. So click the down arrow and come down to the slider bar and I'm going to slide that back to about 48 percent. And that gives me a nice soft background and now I can go ahead and finish my scrapbook page with that as my background. And here you can see my finished scrapbook page using the custom background paper that we just created. For additional digital scrapbooking tutorials or for more information on where you can purchase my digital scrapbooking products, visit www.redleafdigiscrapping.com. Thanks for joining me.